Welcome to DITV Now. I'm your host, Cole Krause. Coming up, I will give you the latest details about COVID-19 in Johnson County, Canvas, and the 2020 election. COVID-19 is already wreaking havoc on Iowa's student life. On the university's official COVID-19 website, 107 students have self-reported cases, as well as four employees. 19 students are reported to be in residence hall quarantine, while eight students are in self-isolation. Wear a mask and stay out of the bars, Hawkeyes. Since coming back to campus, Canvas is looking a little bit different with new routes and fewer riders. Here's more on that with Mallory Wilson. With the majority of classes remaining online, the seats of the campus are left almost empty as students are no longer rushing to class. Students might walk or ride a bike, but many rely on the campus for transportation. As the university faces COVID-19, the campus has taken extra precautions to ensure safety for the students. Constant reminders of wear your mask, please have it over your nose and over your mouth. They have divided the longer routes and have added more buses to decrease the amount of people inside. We be able to spread out our passengers um, between more buses and make our buses a lot less likely to, be, to become overpacked. Their goal is to have no more than 20 to 30 people. It's, it's more strict, there's more of a, an ideology that we need to be distant, we need to be safe and protected from each other. The CAN bus is doing all that they can to ensure the safety of their passengers. This is Mallory Wilson reporting for the Daily Iowan TV. With a monumental and historic election coming up in November, DI Ethics and Politics reporter Kayla McCullough has some insight into how Iowa is shaping our nation's political future. The Iowa caucuses brought dozens of Democrats to the Hawkeye State for more than a year leading up to February 3rd. Since it's the first state in the process, Iowa is seen as vital for winning the presidential primary. Joe Biden snagged the Democratic nomination last week, becoming only the third candidate in the history of the modern caucuses that finished fourth and still won the primary. So does that mean that the time and money spent in Iowa by other candidates was a waste? Bernie Sanders did well in Iowa. Grinnell political science professor Barbara Trish said, Iowa put him in a position to affect the party platform, which had a lot of input from the progressive wing of the party. This year's results shouldn't discourage future presidential hopefuls from spending time and resources in Iowa, experts said, and as long as Iowa remains first, it will be a vital stop on the road to the presidency. Stay tuned for more in the Daily Iowan later this week. Thank you for joining me today on DITV Now. Tune in tomorrow for another recap of Iowa City's biggest and best stories. I'm Cole Kraft. Have a great day, Iowa City.